This is the longest birch planted road in the world. We think it's in the world or it's either in Europe, but yeah, someone told us it's like some type of world record for the longest birch planted road in the world. And even now in autumn, it's almost prettier than summer, isn't it? Uh, it's beautiful. so I picked up a face to what would be an interesting night. Oh yeah Oh that light it drew me closer And that's when I saw The silhouette of a woman Sitting there all alone So I yelled excuse me ma'am She looked at me and said I've been waiting for you So we went to speak to one of the local farmers And um he, he's got cows and highland cows and things and he was just, um, he took us on a little bit of a tour of the, the cows and it was so nice to see them, they're like big fluffy dogs and people. Um, so yeah, it's nice to know that we've made a bit of a contact to, you know, ask questions for when we want to do the cows, so that's cool. Uh, yeah, so, so he's, uh, he doesn't sell them anymore. Apparently, but he did. He did point us to a few places where we can we can contact uh, some farmers and buy them. But uh, it's nice to have someone close by that can give some advice and so forth. And uh, it's just a uh, it's, it's just also such a stunning drive here. It was it was worth it anyway. You know. <laughs> yeah. Good morning, everyone. So we're out on the field again, we're going to try a mower again. And uh, what we've done to the mower is I replaced the belts uh, with two brand new belts as well as I installed, uh, you won't be able to see it there, but I've installed a heavy duty clutch for it at, at great expense, I'll tell you that. But anyway, it's really, it's really so wet and mucky here at the moment. Everything it's just so soaking but yeah it's one of those things it has to get done so let's just get this last mowing done for the season i have my little helper there with me as you can see he's very happy he gets to watch his ipad while i mow some luxury mowing for him at least have some very bad news so I was like thinking about getting really good camera angles and like this would be a good angle I put the GoPro on the back and uh, all of a sudden it wasn't there anymore and uh, if I lost my GoPro it would have been great but I mowed over it well, there's no saving that is there I heard a, a, a clack and I looked around and the GoPro was gone. Even my extended battery I've been using. Carnage! How about the... <laughs> well the tripod's a little bit shorter now. And the worst part is the SD card's gone. Right, I'm going to move the mower a bit so I can see if there's anyway if i can maybe find that sd card between all of this these are really excellent tripods by the way that's the 
the the real gorilla pod and uh, they work really well if you don't mow over them And at least the lens protector helped. I've been searching for probably 15 minutes, just finding the smallest pieces of GoPro everywhere. And I found it, guys. I can't wait to check what's on this. And so I was not able to recover the last few seconds, unfortunately. Uh, that file was just way too corrupted. Uh, tried various techniques, um, rebuilt it, all of that fun things. And uh, alas, we'll never see the last few seconds of the GoPro's life. Anyway, so that's it for this week's video, folks. Thank you so much again for watching. And if you haven't subscribed, please already do so. And uh, we'll see you again next time. Yeah. <laughs>